Hello, everybody. Let's talk about creating Google Slides and making them interactive. This helps your students become more engaged with their learning and have a lot more fun with it. There are many ways to do this. I'm going to just show you one of the ways. Let's get started. This topic, it will be plant diagrams, and I simply want my students to be able to label the parts of a plant. So first, I need a picture of a plant. So I'm going to go to Insert. I will scroll over to Image, and I'm going to search the web. Okay, now I'll pick out, um, this was my last search topic, so Plant online, Outline, and I have many different choices, so I can just um, pick whichever one that I feel matches what I need. I double clicked it and that automatically inserted it into the slide. Now you can make your image bigger, smaller, you can move it, you can do whatever you need to do to customize it for you. So I'm just going to make it a little bigger and I'm actually just going to move it to this side. Okay, and I'm going to put in some instructions on this page. Okay, so here will be instructions. Oops. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, change it to whatever font you want, whatever you'd like to do, but you need to place it where you definitely want it to be. Because our next step will make this whole part fixed, meaning they cannot move any part of this. So if the students wanted to move the plant around, they cannot. It will be where you placed it. So this is how you do that. You need to go to File, Download, PNG Image, and it will go right here. Okay. Go ahead and bring up a new slide. Erase your boxes. And you're going to make your image you just uh, saved, you're going to make it your background. So let's go to the background. Choose image. And we can just click and drag. Click done. And it's done. So now they cannot move this at all. And then you can go ahead and erase your, your other um, slide. So this is fixed. The kids cannot move it. So how does this become interactive? Well, you need to insert your own boxes, shapes, text. We're going to do shapes. So we're going to insert a shape. We'll do a nice rectangle right here. And you can color code it, whatever you need to do. Remember, here's where you get the outline and the um, inside whatever you'd like. So I'm, I'm going to pick purple. Now I need to put text in it. So I double click and that will allow me to write in it. So I'm going to type in a part. And again, you can customize this text just like you customized everything else about this. Um, you can center it. For time's sake, I'm not really spending too much time on it. Okay, so then this is your first movable piece. The students will be able to move it around. Okay, so an easy way to continue creating would be to copy and paste this rectangle instead of creating it from scratch again. Copy and paste, move it where you need to go. Double click inside, or you can just click once, whichever one you like, put in your new text. I'm gonna leave this here for now because I wanna show you how to get this to your students. This is your master copy. Pretend it's your hard copy, you know, that copy you file away and you never have marks on it and it's perfect. So we don't ever want to mess with this. So I need to make a copy of this. I go to file and then I go to make a copy of entire presentation. Click OK. And now I have a copy and I'm ready to make this shareable with my students. So I'm going to go to share. 
And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click get link. Okay, so this is where all my options are that I need to change. So right now it's in restricted, so nobody can move anything around if they viewed this. So we're going to click it. And we're going to change it to anyone with this link or your own school. But I'm going to go with anyone with this link can view this. And now I need to change it because I want them to interact with it. So they cannot be just a viewer. They now become editor. Okay. So now we're going to click done. Okay. Now we're not all the way done with this. Because if I were to upload this right now for an assignment, all the students would be editing the exact same sheet. So I need to make sure my kids have their own sheets to edit and to interact with. So I'm going to go to my classroom. I'm going to create an assignment. Okay. Well, I have my instructions. Now I'm going to click add. And this is what we created is automatically saved in your Google Drive. That's what's really nice about Google. It just automatically saves everything for you. And here it is. Okay. So you do not want the original one. You want to make sure you have the copy one selected. So go ahead and select that. Down at the right, click insert. It is not ready yet. You must, this is so important. Sorry, I did not mean to click that. You must go to where it says students can view file, drop down and change it to make a copy for each student. This is where each student will get their own copy to work with. If you do not do this and you leave it the way it is, they can't interact with it at all. If you change it to students can edit, that means all the students are going to edit one copy. And the last one makes a copy just for them for you to grade. And then your other options over here do what you need to do, and you are done. I hope this helps you with your lessons and making your students' education and learning a little better.